As Australians, we take pride in our safety record in the year. Even in our workplace, we no longer tolerate injuries as commonplace. Why should it be then that we accept such a tragically high rate of fatalities and injuries on our roads? Arguably, Australia's biggest workplace for millions of Australians every day. Every day, five people die and 60 people are seriously injured on our roads. That's around 1,600 deaths and 22,000 seriously injured on Australian roads each year. So much of my work involves victims of serious road crashes. We can help to put people back together, but we cannot fix lives that are permanently shattered by the tragedy of major road trauma. Australia's national road safety strategy was established with the specific aim of reducing the annual road fatality rate by 40% between 1999 and 2010. Reaching this target would mean saving 700 lives a year. The strategy has identified that some 332 lives, nearly half of the targeted improvement, can be saved each year by improving our roads. It is no longer acceptable to have roads that are inherently dangerous. The roads are more important in road safety than most people realise. We can avoid crashes by redesigning roads to make them safer. The Australian Road Assessment Program, or OSRAP, is an initiative of the Australian Automobile Association and its state motoring clubs. It identifies high-risk roads and improvements that can be made to these roads to reduce the likelihood of crashes and to make those that do happen survivable. It is a sister program to the Australian New Car Assessment Program or ANCAP which crash tests new cars, rates their performance and awards them a star rating for safety. Nearly all new vehicles are awarded a star rating under this system. OSRAP provides governments and road users with a similar system for rating the relative safety of our roads. What we need to aim for is five-star drivers in five-star cars on five-star roads. But a five-star car will not always protect a driver on a one-star road. Nine out of ten crashes occur because of human error. But why is it that more crashes occur on some roads than others. Often it is the features of the road itself that either contributes to the crash or turns what could have been a minor crash into a killer. Australia's roadside verges are littered with bunches of wilting flowers. They are reminders of lives cut short due to a lack of simple, affordable safety measures such as wire rope fencing. Even a basic improvement such as sealing of road edges, can potentially reduce up to 60% of runoff road crashes, as well as head-on crashes. OSRAP performs two principal tasks. Firstly, it produces risk maps of our highways. OSRAP risk maps use real crash and traffic flow statistics to measure road risk by showing the rate at which people are killed and injured. High risk roads are shown in black and red. Medium risk roads are shown in yellow. Low risk roads are green. OSRAP risk mapping can help road authorities, planners and engineers target areas for improvement. It will also help road users understand how a risk can vary depending on the road environment. Secondly, in addition to risk mapping, OSRAP also measures risk using a star rating. These star ratings are calculated by assessing how well the road prevents a crash and protects its users. Specially equipped inspection vehicles like this one are surveying our national road network to collect data for OSRAP. These vehicles use a combination of infrared, GPS and video technology to capture detailed information about the road surface, verges and roadside objects. Most one-star roads are winding, single carriageway roads with broken edges and have unforgiving roadside hazards. There are many ways to improve the safety of a road. 
A typical four or five star road would be dual carriageway with barriers separating traffic flow. It may also have a number of other safety features, such as wide sealed edges or shoulders, rumble strips, shear bolts on light poles, and protection from roadside trees and culverts using wire rope fencing or guardrail barriers. The key aim of OSRAP is to reduce deaths and injuries by identifying the roads where crashes are more likely to occur. OSRAP is about helping to save hundreds of lives at a price that we can all afford. The idea is to get things to fit together, the driver, the car and the road. Low cost improvements to our high risk roads combined with safer cars and risk aware drivers will greatly reduce the number of people killed and maimed on our roads. OSRAP is taking us on a journey. It is going to show us where low cost crash protection measures could be put in place in order to save lives. <laughs>